Welcome back. Today, we have marshmallows of the flavory kind. Okay, so, stepdaughter called us the other day, said she had found marshmallows and was gonna buy them for us, bring them over for us to review. It's been like a month, and we have them. <laughs> We have three, count them, three flavors. We have burnt caramel. Jaheel, I'm looking at you. <laughs> He's into that burnt caramel flavor. We have mint chip. And we have classic vanilla. So you know that scene in Pretty Woman where she's like, big mistake. Big. Huge. Huge. Big mistake. Huge. This is how I feel walking into this. <laughs> she is not looking forward to putting these in her mouth hole. This sounds like a notoriously bad idea. I, I'm kind of leaning towards agreeing with her. Oh. I could be totally wrong, but I'm like, this sounds hideous. You look hideous. I am hideous. The cat's on the, the, cat's on the counter for some reason. Oh, he yeah. thinks that cats belong on the counter. All right, so what? are we going to start with the burnt one first? Start with vanilla. Maybe it'll be mild. Oh, God. I'm, I'm kind of scared. Can I just have a piece of That's it? That's what I'm going to oh, do. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> How long yeah. are you going to take to tear that? Oh, yeah. It's your <laughs> ASMR hour. Oh. You're just watching me. Yes. It smells like something I've smelled before. Play-Doh. It does! <laughs> it smells like Play-Doh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew I knew that smell. <laughs> It seriously does. Our granddaughter plays with Play-Doh every single day she's over. And uh, honest to God, I couldn't, I would start putting this through her little noodle squeezy thingy. It literally <laughs> smells just like Play-Doh. I hope it tastes better than Play-Doh. Yeah, Max Malo No Brainer brand here. It smells legitimately like Play-Doh. It's very nostalgic. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> this is not good. I've never eaten Play-Doh before. I don't know how they got that smell into a marshmallow. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Texture's okay. Reminiscent of a marshmallow that maybe set out for a little bit but didn't go totally stale. Flavor is pretty close. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised that it smells so much like Play-Doh and, and taste, doesn't yeah. taste like Play-Doh. But what does Play-Doh taste like? I've had it before. Doesn't taste like marshmallows. Mm. Um, Explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's very similar to an actual marshmallow. My question would be, how does it behave when it's melted or set on fire? Well, it hasn't like jumped out of the package yet, so it behaves pretty well. <laughs> it's such a butt. I mean, like, if you were to campfire this on a stick, what would happen? Or if you were to try to melt it with butter to turn it into Rice Krispie Treats, what would happen? That's where my my questioning lies. So if you've had experience melting these puppies down, let us know what happened. And flavor-wise, that's real close. That's real close. Texture-wise, they're a little firm, but not bad. They're a little bit like you left the package open for overnight. And we'll put the uh, the ingredients and everything up here in the corner. And if you're getting value out of this video, please take a moment and check out my merch store in the link below. It supports the channel. We've got hoodies, we've got shirts, we have grocery bags, we have aprons, we have all that stuff. So if you want it, we've got it. Take a look, link in the description. Thanks so much, everybody. So which one are we trying next? Are we trying mint we'll or are we try. trying burnt caramel? We'll try burnt caramel because that sounds bad. Mm. 
also smell like Play-Doh? It does not. Oh, okay. Okay, they stick to each other like crazy here. I'm gonna give you half of this one, so. You didn't tear it apart very slow. I did not. Nobody's watching me. It does smell caramel-esque. This one, the texture is more soft. Well, and remember, our daughter opened both of these packages prior to us tasting them. So it's very possible that she left them open. I don't know what that taste is, but I don't like it. It doesn't taste like caramel. It almost tasted like this one for a little bit. For a second, but then it's almost got like that. That the end weird taste. chemically end flavor. I don't know what it is. So I guess we need to try out the uh, the mint chip one next. So far between the two vanillas is stars above. Much better than the other one. It smells minty. Very minty. I'm into mint and I'm into chocolate, but I don't think it's supposed to be mint chocolate. Is it just mint? It's chocolate. It's a uh, mint chip. Oh, so. it smells good. It smells like my coffee. On it does. It smells like her, the coffee stuff that she uses. She's like a mint chocolate. Oh. Mint, is it a, what is it? A mint, mint chocolate chip. Yeah. Skinny syrup. I use it every weekend morning. Like, not weekend. All my days off mornings. And my coffee. We have to order from Amazon. We can't find it in any stores near us. Which is normal, I guess. Hmm. That's good and weird. Yeah. I definitely get mint mm -hmm. and I definitely get chocolate. But when the hell am I ever going to eat a mint chocolate chip marshmallow? I'm going to be good in your coffee. I'm not going to put marshmallows in my coffee. That's weird. This would be good if you made a hot cocoa. I do have a video of, hot, of a couple hot, different hot cocos planned. So that I would, I would probably try it in that otherwise this is good but has no reason for being maybe the girl uh, might like it uh, we can try it i don't know if she'll eat it um the texture's right it definitely has a mint chocolate chip flavor and a good one has a slight cooling sensation that the other ones don't have but it matches well with the mint flavor like you kind of expect that so I, I genuinely like it, but I would never eat it. I don't have a reason to. I've never been like a, I just want marshmallows type of person. Yeah, if not you, since I've been above five. Yeah, if you are, go for it. If you have small children, the mint ones and the vanilla ones, hands down, your kids will like them and they will eat them if they are into marshmallows. What are you doing? You hear that? What? She likes something. It's weird. <laughs> it's like we're doing a Diet Coke review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Matt Pat would be proud. I'm telling you. But no, they're, they're good. Your kids will love these. If your kids are into marshmallows, the mint one and the vanilla one, yes. The burnt caramel you can throw in the trash. <laughs> Everything else, I mean... Maybe we can think of something to make out of them. Like I said, your cocoa, if we make a cocoa that we like, that would go. I also don't drink cocoa, but you know, maybe I'll try it. Oh well, yeah, you will try it. I'm just saying like. Oh, she'll try it. We review all of these things and I'm like, I don't eat that. I don't taste that. I don't drink that. That's not something I'm normally gonna do. And I'm not trying to be like some you know, whatever, but that's just my reality. I don't ever have a reason to eat marshmallows because I just don't, don't like them enough to do that. But if you like marshmallows, these are a winner. As always, if you have found value in this video, let us know by hitting the like button, sharing with your friends, dropping comments down below, letting us know if you like these products, if you've tried them, if you were 
excited to try them or you'll be looking for them. Where available, I'll put links down below where you can find them. Let me know if I'm the only weirdo in the world who literally doesn't eat any of the things that we're trying at all other than when we're trying them on video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.